Hi everyone, it's Sandra here and we are with Cinderella. Um, pardon the muddy fingers, I've already done peekaboo and eat my shorts. I'm worried that I've left Cinderella sit a little bit long. Ooh, dry, crunchy paper. There's a sign that the bin is drying out. That's not good. Oh, and there's the pill bugs and a little fungus net running across there. There are the pill bugs huddled together looking for a little scrap of moisture. Let's quickly take a look at what I fed Cinderella 11 days ago. On the menu today is just my typical food scraps, a lot of avocado peels, banana peels, tea leaves, some carrot peels. They've all been pulsed in my food processor and in the last few pulses, I add some powdered eggshells that I've powdered in a coffee grinder so the food isn't that moist. Banana peels don't add a lot of moisture and obviously neither do the avocado pits. The only thing that would have really any moisture here are the carrot peels. I'm smearing it all over this toilet roll to see what kind of a party we can get next time. But I actually didn't pack too much down the center. I did get a sense of Cinderella's population is quite high, so I'm giving another healthy handful around the edges for the worms that don't make it to the toilet roll. Where's Prince Charming? Is he under here? Oh, there's Prince Charming. And look at the worms all clustered. So there's Prince Charming on the toilet roll. Spring is for springtails. Look at all the springtails in that overturned uh, container, along with some worms seeking the condensation on the side of the container. I will put that next door into Peekaboo, and hopefully the worms will still be there when I put it back at the end. All right, so you can obviously see this is far too crunchy. This carbon's not going to get... Uh, uh, broken down while it's in that state and I don't worry about that but what I worry about and I just saw one here is is um, here is is cocoons oops there it is uh, cocoons that are stuck at the top here which worms often deposit cocoons at the top and then if you know because I've neglected Cinderella a little bit too long uh, you can see the uh, the dryness so that cocoon will not perish in this short of a time it'll go into kind of a stasis and when I when I take it and and it's other ones that I saw over here and stir up the bin to get the moisture regulated throughout uh, the cocoon will start its maturation process again uh, this bin has not been subjected to extremes of heat it's simply a little bit of uh, humidity issues and look at the cocoons on the surface, you know, so you can see the cocoon, cocoon, cocoon. Uh, you can see that um, that is a common thing that you find right on the surface. And that's one of the reasons I use bubble wrap on the top. But in this case, it wasn't sufficient. All right. This is Cinderella's lace that she's been eating from my T-shirt. And she's actually, uh, I guess the T-shirt's all gone and we're just down to the lace now. All right, oh, there's a worm on the side there. I'm just gonna peel off these drier bits of carbon and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna look for the toilet roll. Prince Charming marks the spot. So look at the crunchy carbon on the top. Yeah, not good. But my fingers are already feeling good moisture a little bit lower down, so Cinderella's worms will be just fine in the uh, um, vermicompost that's a little bit deeper. Lots of cocoons, my goodness. Cinderella's worms are being very busy. All right, there's the, there's the bottom of a Starbucks cup. That's what you're left with. Let's take Prince Charming out. All right, that marks where the toilet paper roll is. So let's, oh, it's heavy. Let's lift that up and see what the worms are doing with it this week. Okay, we have worms on the toilet paper roll. 
it's uh, continued uh, in its discoloration. Uh, there's a cocoon right on the top of the center of the toilet roll. There's the rest of the toilet roll uh, coming out. And lots of worms crawling out of the toilet roll. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Stir up this end. Again, like I said, I just need to regulate the moisture a little bit. See whether that, that one's just a shell, that avocado. So Cinderella's starting to uh, accumulate some depth here. And that's always a concern that if I don't harvest her regularly, it gets deeper and deeper and deeper. You know, it's fun giving her all these unique feedings, but at some point I have to pull some of the bulk out of here. And to do that, I have to stop feeding crazy stuff because uh, it takes her too long to get through these. You know, I've stopped feeding the flower stems and you can see there are still some rose stems left over. And, uh, and so in order to harvest, I really need Cinderella to just focus on some regular foodstuffs. You can also see how damp this vermicompost is. It's almost muddy, although I would not be able to squeeze water out of it. It is definitely moist, which is good because the surface was definitely dry. Okay, and so this paper that you see clumping here is the shredded uh, like grocery paper. I think it was a grocery bag or maybe it was the Amazon packing paper. But you also see that I fed her some toilet rolls and some leaves. And she's got the remnants of some tamale in there. Landon and I are trying to eat our way to the bottom of our freezer. And so we're, we ate all the tamale. So most of my worm bins got a good healthy dose of tamale. Tamale wrappers. All right, so what I'm doing for Cinderella today, uh, obviously the toilet roll has to go in first just because it needs the depth. But I've got what I'm gonna call a meal in a box for Cinderella. When I froze this, I put everything I needed to feed a worm bin in it. I shredded up some paper towel and there you see it soaked up some of the juices when the material thawed. And I put some food scraps with some pulverized eggshell in it. So it's a meal in a box. And I've actually got some paper towel on the bottom. And so I was thinking ahead to say, you know, Sandra, one day you're going to be in a hurry. And you're just going to need to feed a worm bin. And it's just that easy to have this meal in a box for Cinderella. And now she's got this, a little bit of this paper towel. It may clump, who knows. Uh, these are some endive stems. And so the rest of this very moist uh, vermicompost, I'm just going to push it back down. And when I see these paper clumps, worms love the paper clumps. I'm going to make sure they get down into the moisture as well. There's that. I think it was just a greeting card, but it was 100% uh, compostable. So down it goes, down goes another toilet roll. This will help with the moisture regulation by having these paper bits closer to the bottom. I think that's about it. Those are just rose stems and whatnot. Okay, so I'm going to push this moist vermicompost on top. There we go. So I'm trying to bring Cinderella back into normalcy, have her a more normal worm bin so that I can start migrating her to a harvest. So you see, I'm just picking up all this irregular needles and stems. And then I'm just gonna dig down to where it's a little bit moist to bury them because they're not going to get consumed on the top. Look at all these cocoons. She's really having a, a breeding frenzy. We've got to put Prince Charming back. 
Prince Charming goes into the toilet roll. And this actually was a good humidity dome to keep uh, to keep that end nice and humid. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this check-in with Cinderella and the meal in a box. Bye for now.